Hey everybody, this is your man Chef, and I'm coming back at you with another video. And today I'm going to talk about uh, reconnecting a Roku box when you've lost the remote and it was connected to a Wi Fi network that you no longer use. Now, I don't know how it works with the new Roku boxes, but with the Roku 3 box, um, if you're connected to a different network and you're trying to use the app to uh, control the Roku device it's not going to work unless you're connected to the same network as the Roku device and the Roku device it's going to search for the previous connection it's not going to automatically connect to um, the network that you wanted to connect to so I've, I've had this Roku box for two three years I stopped using it maybe a year and a half ago and now I've come into a situation where I need to use it again and it's connected to a Wi-Fi network that I no longer use and I don't have the remote so I went online searching for um, fixes on how to you know get around that issue and found nothing went on YouTube looked through a couple videos and really didn't help me out so I got to thinking and I came up with my own solution. So let me show you what this solution is. <clears throat> Basically, what you do is um, you connect the Roku box to a, uh, a wired connection. And you download the Roku remote app to your phone. And you connect it to that same network that the Roku box is hardwired into. And then you can control the Roku box and you can point it to a new network, connect it to that new network, and then you can unplug it from the Ethernet cable and boom, they, that's how you fix it. So I'll, I'll illustrate it rather than talk about it. I'll show you what I did. I'm going to get it set up real quick and I'll be back, be back at you. All right, I'm back. So the first thing you want to do is you want to connect the Ethernet cable. Then you want to connect the HDMI cable. You want to connect the power cable last. All right, so we got those two connections connected. So now I'm gonna connect the power cable. So power cable is now connected. I'm gonna come to my PC and I'm gonna change the input to HDMI. There we go. So now the Roku box is booting up. Pulling out my cell phone to start controlling this Roku box. And as you can see, it automatically connected to the wired network. So I'll select the Roku box on here. Hold on. <laughs> Let's do that again. Here we go. Ah, and it's connected. So, what you want to go, you want to do is go down to your settings, your network, and you see how it says wired. You want to change it to wireless, set up new wireless connection, and bam. It found the network that I want it to connect to. So connect to it and I've already, I've already done this so it already has the password in there. So you connect it. And now it's connected wirelessly so now you can control it with your remote even when you unplug it from the ethernet cable. So now I'm going to unplug it. As you can see, I still have control over it. Alright, so 
Now I'm going to connect it to uh, the TV I want to connect it to. I'll be right back. So right here is the Roku device hanging from the TV I want to connect it to. So now I'm pulling up the power cable right here. HDMI cable is already connected. So now I'm going to connect the power cable to the Roku box. There we go. Alright, now I'm going to turn on the TV. So I converted my garage into a little little makeshift gym, so I decided to put a TV in the garage. And I need something to uh, play off this TV. I'm using a Roku box. Bam. And look, it's connected to the wireless network now. Pulling up the uh, Roku on his uh, phone. All right, check this out. Boom. It's connected. And now you can enjoy your Roku box. So for anybody that breaks their remote or hasn't used their Roku, box in a long time and it's connected to a different Wi-Fi network and there goes the solution for you thanks for watching